Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Decentraland. Decentraland is one of those coins we love to take a look at on this channel. A lot of people are interested in Decentraland and what it offers. If we take a look at the actual market right now today, it's been about down 6%, pretty much red entirely. Uh, for about every single coin, there is just a big chunk of almost double digit red across the board. So if we go to Decentraland, it is unfortunately not different. We do see that 8% decrease. However, if we take a look at the last week, a 20 percent decrease we're seeing decentraland at a very very good price point for new entry buyers however i will say decentraland right now is struggling so in the last month alone we did see that 142 percent increase however i think we're going to continue to see a uh, correction occur until about that 70 75 cent range uh, we may even go down close to this 55 cents i don't think that's going to happen this dip um, but it's definitely a possibility. Uh, I do think, unfortunately, Decentraland is, uh, you know, it's on a downward spiral with all the other coins. I don't think it's going to get down to this 55 cent mark. I do think it's going to be closer, like I said, to the 70, 75 range if it continues to decrease. However, I do think when we do, uh, you know, see a rise in Decentraland, it will definitely make its way back to a dollar. This is not the last time we've seen uh, you know, essentially at a dollar, uh, April 5th, we saw it at a dollar. That's not the last time we're going to see it at that $1 mark. So I will say with the market cap being that 1.4 billion, the volume in the last 24 hours being that 227.6 million and that circulating supply being that 1.6 billion mana, we do see a lot of potential behind Decentraland still. I think this coin is still going to be a very valuable coin and there's going to be a lot of people interested in what Decentraland has to offer. Uh, the utility behind Decentraland being such a cool gaming idea. Um, let's take a look at the actual website itself and give you guys a quick overview of what Decentraland is before coming back and doing a price prediction. So we will be doing a price prediction for April, May, and 2020. But if we talk about what Decentraland is, uh, Decentraland is, we see Decentraland Mana is an Ethereum token that powers the Decentraland virtual reality platform. Mana can be used to pay for virtual plots of land in Decentraland as well as in world goods and services. So we do see there is potential behind something like this. And we go to their website, we do see Welcome to Decentraland. Create, explore, and trade in the first ever virtual world owned by its users. If we can scroll down just a little bit more, we see the Explore tab, Create tab, and Trade tab. So what's so cool about Decentraland is that, uh, you know, it's you get to determine really what you do in this virtual world. The first fully decentralized world. Decentraland is a controlled via the DAO, which owns the most important smart contracts and assets of Decentraland. Via the DAO, you decide and vote on how the world works. So you really do have complete control of uh you know, the whole world entirely. So right now we are seeing a big dip, like I said, across the entirety of all the markets right now. If we go to the blog though of Decentraland, we see WTF are NFTs. So what are NFTs? And they talk more about what NFTs are. They talk about their announcement on NFTs and they actually have, um, you know, everything you wanted to know about non-fungible tokens, but we're too confused to ask. So you can read more about this if you don't know exactly what NFTs are. Uh, this is going to be big for essentially, and I think they're going to start jumping more into NFT in that you know, in that range, I guess. We do already have NFTs on Decentraland, obviously, but it just shows that, you know, Decentraland has been up to date recently. We see articles from April 1st, April 2nd, and April 5th. You know, they're trying to stay up to date that you can actually go to their project updates as well. There hasn't been anything here since March 10th. So I'd expect a big project update coming in April. I think when that project update comes, we're going to see a very big surge in Decentraland making its way right back up and rising and uh, really just trying to make its way back up from that 75 to 80 cent mark possibly where we're going to see this dip all the way down to. So because of that, we're going to see a very big, um, you know, very, very big surge, in my opinion, for Decentraland. If you guys didn't know, you can actually sell and buy wearables or assets in game as well as estates or, uh, you know, land in game. And then you can also buy and sell names in the uh, virtual world. So it's a very cool idea behind this. You can see that Decentraland really hasn't slowed down at all. If you click on the events, you go to the events tab, you still see that there's two live events right now and one in an hour couple in four and five hours and then uh, obviously more in, uh, in the next couple of days so you can actually submit event in the top right so a lot of people are just submitting events having a fun with Decentraland and I think that'll continue to happen uh, Decentraland is definitely one of those coins and tokens that I think is going to stick around for quite some time if we do look at the last month we do see you know a, a pretty gradual increase here going to that dollar 19 we saw that all-time high um, a lot of us were you know very excited about this all-time high obviously we saw a correction right after that which led to uh you know, more of an increase that we got back to about a dollar oh three, dollar oh four, dollar oh five range, dollar six range, and then we continued on our decline. So it's been a pretty bumpy ride for Decentraland. I think obviously this uh, 
previous one wasn't, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't Decentraland's fault. It just had to go down pretty much with every other altcoin. Uh, when the market tanks like this, uh, pretty much every coin is going to tank with it. So I still think I'm very bullish on Decentraland in April. I think we will easily recover from this 88 cent range. Uh, we may continue to go down just a little bit more, like I said. If we refresh the price, let's just see if we, uh, we get anything different. So it is continuing to decrease at the moment. We're about 87 cents. I, like I said, we could go all the way to 75 cents. Uh, that would be my prediction as the uh, you know lowest point will go for the correction. I do think we'll rise back above a dollar um, within time. And I think you know possibly by the end of April, we'll even see that dollar amount uh, at the very least. So we'll see what happens with Decentraland. Uh, but before we jump into the price predictions, I do want to say, guys, if you like Decentraland, if you like these kind of videos, make sure to like the video right now and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as well as turn notifications on so you can be notified every time I make a new video. I really do appreciate all you guys' awesome support, but let's jump into the price predictions for April. So April, I see Decentraland, like I said, jumping maybe to that 80 cent mark or 75 cent mark for the lowest of the correction. Hopefully it stays above that. Uh, that would be ideal. Um, but, you know, worst comes to worst, we see about 75, 70 cents as Decentraland, you know, continues to kind of correct itself with the rest of the market. But I do see an increase coming. I think Decentraland will easily make its way back up to that $1 amount. Uh, we will easily see that by the end of April, if not April, May for sure. But I think, you know, by the end of April, we'll have enough time for Decentraland really to fully recover, make its way back to that dollar and even more. I think I could see a dollar ten on Decentraland's new all-time high for just April, um, you know, April 7th on. I I think we do see it get back to that dollar ten mark uh, and then stabilize right around dollar oh two dollar oh three going into may i think we will continue to increase on decentraland i'm still thinking decentraland is going to make its way back to a new all-time high that'll hopefully take place in may i think we're going to make our way to about dollar fifty dollar seventy five so a lot of people are kind of worried you know are we going to make our money back i can't tell you specifically uh, remember i'm not a financial advisor i only give you guys um, as much crypto information as possible but you know, you're going to have to do your own research on that. But I believe, uh, you know, with my money, I'm going to, if I have money in Decentraland, I'm going to keep it in here because uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing an increase coming. I obviously see another, you know, a little bit, a little bit of a dip still occurring. We're at that 77 or 87 cent mark, and I think we could go all, all the way down to about 75, 80 cents. So hopefully we don't go that far down, like I said, but, you know, we could see a recovery very quickly going in April. We're going to get above that dollar mark, and by the end of May, we're hopefully going to see right around that dollar twenty dollar twenty five mark at the very very least um, hoping for big big things we go into 2021 i think decentraland is going to continue to rise over time uh, we may see a few dips like this or corrections like this but i do think they're always going to be able to recover and therefore we're going to see decentraland really reach around that two to three dollar range by the end of 2021 that's just what the current price predictions with based on the news that i'm given right now obviously with projects and updates coming uh decentraland could do potentially much much more uh, or could do much much less obviously depending on if there's bad news coming out with decentraland but i don't see bad news coming i think it's only going to be good for decentraland in 2021 and that is why i'm seeing decentraland as a still a very good buy uh, if you get it at a good entry point i wouldn't buy you know above dollar twenty dollar thirty but i will say you know right now we're seeing a very good entry point and because of that decentraland still a good buy good opportunity here um, and that's going to be all I'm going to have to say about Decentraland. Like I said previously, guys, if you guys like this video, definitely subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video if uh, you want to see more Decentraland. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one.